Morning everybody, it's Mike here on a fantastic Friday. Okay everybody, the topic of this video is entitled How to be successful working from home. Okay, so um, bear with me in my folly on this video, okay? I'm going to touch on some, probably a lot of different topics. <laughs> and let me put out a disclaimer here on this video. Most of my videos, folks, I, ton I tone it down. Uh, but on this video... I may turn up the heat a little bit, so please don't be offended. Um, I just want to get some things across to people, <clears throat> maybe about me, hopefully some valuable information to help you that you can apply to your life, okay? Um, for those that don't know, approximately 97%, <clears throat> excuse me, approximately 97, 98% of people trying to make money working from home on or offline are failing so only maybe two or three percent are succeeding well what if on this video I could give you the keys you need to help you be a part of the two or three percent instead of the 97 percent that are failing trying to make money working from home do you think that would be of assistance to you so on this video I'm going to talk about a lot of different things probably and I'm probably going to turn up the heat a little bit maybe get a little bit brassy but that's okay that's okay all right. Some people that see me in my videos may like me. Some people that see me, know me, been subscribed to my channel for some time, maybe might not like me. <laughs> but realize, all you guys are getting here is free information. What you choose to do with this information is totally up to you. But let me give you some keys to help you. Okay? To help you. I am a firm believer that... You know, God gives certain people certain gifts, talents, and abilities for a reason, okay? For a reason. And that reason may be, um, how do I want to word this? When God gives you a gift, you need to use it, not abuse it, Okay? If God gives you gifts, talents, and abilities, you need to use them, not abuse them. Okay? Some people can use their gifts, talents, and abilities for good. Some can use them for evil. So I'm a firm believer, okay, that God puts certain, gives certain, certain gifts, talents, and abilities to people for a reason. Okay? For a reason. And we can choose to use them for good or evil, okay? But I believe he gives us to us because, you know, to love God and love people and assist God and assist people for whatever his ultimate plan is for us here in life, okay? So me, for those that don't know me, my name is Mike, okay? And as you see, you see my face, you hear my voice, whether I'm coming to you from a hospital bed, from a health hotel room, from a car. God forbid if you're in a car, pull over, don't watch this video going down the road on your cell phone while you're driving. <laughs> Maybe you're watching this video on bed on your cell phone. I don't know. But video marketing is powerful, and I can touch people not only here in the United States, but all over the world. Okay? So video marketing is powerful. But let me tell you something. I don't feel it's for everybody. You know why? Because not everybody has the gift of gab like me. Okay? So maybe videos don't work good for you because you freeze up when you get in front of a camera. You uh, get sweaty palms. You start sweating because you don't know what to say. And that's okay. Maybe it's not your gift. So maybe... Your gift is baking cookies, or maybe your gift is writing books, or maybe your gift is, it could be anything, playing the piano like my son. He can get on the drums. He's going to be 14 years old, and gosh, he can make them drums sing. <laughs> I get on the drums. I don't even, I'm lucky if I can keep a beat, you know what I'm saying? So it's not my gift, but it's his, okay? So here's a big key. If you want to learn how to be successful, how to be successful working from home in 2020 and beyond, 
whether it's working from home to make money, whether it's learning a skill, talent, or trade that you can use because it makes you happy or it makes you happy you can serve others with, hey, whatever your gift is, use it, don't abuse it. So today I'm going to talk about how to be successful working from home. And the premise and theme of this video is how to be successful working from home with whatever your gift, talent, and ability is. Okay, so grab a pen and paper, pause the video, grab a pen and paper, come back to this video when you have your pen and paper, take notes, chew up the meat, spit out the bones. As you see, I'm just going, going, going. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere on this video. Okay, so um, how to be successful working from home. Gosh, I'm going to cover a lot on this video. Personal development is key. Personal development is key. Your business, if you're trying to work from home and run a home-based business, do you guys realize that your business is you? That's right. You are your business because your business becomes whatever you make it. You see what I'm saying? Whatever you make it or whatever you don't make it. So if you're in a home-based business and you're trying to make money online or make money offline, it don't matter. Your business becomes what you make it. Okay, it's all about branding you as a unique person and offering valuable content, hear me somebody, to masses of people to provide a solution for their problems, not yours. You see, why would people throw you money if they don't know, like, and trust you? If they don't know you from Adam or Eve, why would they hand money to you? That's why videos are powerful because people can gauge if they want to know, like, and trust you because they can see a face and hear a voice. See? And you can come to people all over the world. I'm coming to you right now from Florida. Here's my view this morning. It's 7.54 in the morning. I'm at a beach. It's Friday. A lot of people went off probably already to their job in corporate America and here to, to work for 8, 10, 12 hours a day. And here I am in the vehicle in the Yukon, right here where the Gulf of Mexico is, cutting a video. Forget working 8, 10, 12 hours a day. I gave that up back in 2014. Haven't looked back since. Why not just work a half hour, 45 minutes a day to a better way? Work an hour a day. You know what I'm saying? And I start early. <laughs> I'm not bragging or boasting, but let me tell you what I do. I get up at maybe 4.35 in the morning, maybe 6, because I'm an early bird. Have you heard people say the early bird gets the worm? Now, if you're a third shifter and you work third shift and you get off at seven in the morning, I understand if you're sleeping by eight o'clock in the morning till like maybe two in the afternoon because you work third shift. But I don't waste my day. And let me tell you something. Think about this. Think about this before I get into the area of personal development, which is, why do you think I brought this stack of books here? Because see, it's all about, okay? It's all about empowering yourself to empower others, okay? Now listen. I'm telling you, <laughs> I put out the disclaimer, right? I can turn up the heat on this video. If you're easily offended, I'm warning you right now. <laughs> Listen, I love you. I want you to succeed. But realize something, guys. Not everybody is willing to accept the truth. They want somebody to tell them what they want to feel. Mike, tell me. Tell me I can be a millionaire overnight. Mike, tell me, you know, you can do everything for me. Mike, tell me what makes me feel good. Listen, I'm not going to share what's going to make you feel good. Look at these birds out here this morning. They're just going nuts. <laughs> Seagulls or whatever they're doing. Back to the story. I'm not going to tell you what's going to make you feel good. I'm going to tell you what is good. And I'm going to share with you the truth. Because it's the truth that can set you free, baby, if you accept the truth and apply it to your life. And let me tell you something. You've heard the statement, knowledge is power. I believe knowledge is power if it's applied in a positive way 
to help people. You can have all the head knowledge in your head you want, but it ain't going to do you a darn bit of good until you apply it to your life. Think about that. That'll preach. I just took you to school. <laughs> right? I just took you to school. And some of us have went to school. What is this? Mike, I finally got the money. Cool. Somebody messaged me already this morning. See, folks, I don't chase people. I don't chase people. I don't chase people. You know, when you do things the right way, shoot. You, there's a message there. Maybe they got the money for my... Maybe you're subscribed. I'll get with you after this video. I'll respond to you later today. I'm busy doing a video. <laughs> Maybe your gift is not the gift of gab like me. See, I can cut a video, get on this YouTube video, and I can just go and go and go and go. Because that's me. I can't be you, but you cannot be me. Maybe videos are not your thing. Maybe Facebook is your thing. Maybe direct mail marketing is your thing. Maybe cooking is your thing. Maybe working from home is not for you. Because you look like a thug from the ghetto. And people won't connect with you on videos because you look like a thug. Nothing personal against how anybody looks on this video, but maybe you need to get a haircut, boys and girls. Maybe you need to get your teeth fixed because people do judge people by their appearance. And so maybe it's not for you because you don't have the look. Maybe people don't like how you dress. Maybe they don't like the color of your skin. And yes, people are prejudiced. I'm not. I accept everybody. The color of their skin, red, black, white, green, Arabic, uh, shoot. India, people from India, Asian, I accept everybody, but not everybody does. See? So people are judgmental and people are skeptical and people can gauge if a person's for real or they're a fake or a phony. So if you're a phony, don't think video marketing's for you. If you're a scam artist, video marketing's not for you. People aren't stupid. They can feel and they can sense if a person is real or fake or phony. So I'm coming to you today because I'm going to give you some valuable information on how to, man, how to be successful working from home. Okay. Where was I? <laughs> I kind of got off track there. So listen to me. Maybe these videos are not for you. Oh, I want to make money. Let me go online and see if I can find something to make money. Listen, if you think you're going to make money without providing value to other people to help them in their life, don't even consider working from home because they don't know you from Adam. They don't. Maybe you need to go start up a storefront and, you know, sell flowers in a flower store. I don't know. You got to examine your life and see what you're good at. You got to take your talent and use it for good. Maybe nursing is your thing. Maybe counseling. Hello, somebody. Counseling people that are con contemplating suicide is your gift. That's an important one. Maybe, I don't even know. But whatever it is, take your gift, talent, and ability. Do you remember when Colby Bryant was alive? Did he or did, did he not make this statement? Find something you're good at and do it. Did he or did he not make that statement? So what you guys need to do is find something you're good at. Hello, somebody. Are you getting a witness on this? Find something you're good at and do it. Just like Nike, do it. And personal development is key. Why do you think I have a stack of books here for this video? Because the day we think we know everything is the day we don't know everything. Because if I think any time in my life I know everything, I have missed the mark. So why do you think reading books is important? Either books that are paperback like this. Here's one, The 4-Hour Workweek. Check that out by Timothy Ferris. Go to school with that book. How about this one, The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill? How about it, people? See, you want to be successful? You want to learn how to be successful working from home? But you won't take 15 minutes out of your day to read a book to help you be successful? Hello, and grow in your life as a person and develop personal development and you think you're going to be a millionaire overnight? I don't think so. How about this one? Power, prosperity. This one here, I don't, eh, 
I, I, this one here is not too big for me. I can literally start reading a book and, you know, I might think it's boring, so I might put it aside and I might switch over to a different book like this one. The Master Key System by Charles Hanel. Hanel? Am I saying that right? This is a good one. This is a good one. I recommend that one, and I recommend this one. Okay? Develop your magnetism, attract wealth, power, and love, find success and fulfillment. Here's another one. These are little bitty, you know, small reads. They're little bitty, what do you call these things? Booklets. They're not a big, thick book like this one. So you might take you a month to read one of these, depending how fast you, you know, eat it up. You might read one page, you might, might read 10 pages at a time, I don't know. This one here, <clears throat> I haven't really got into it that much. Become Invincible, Force Thought, Vibration. This one here is about the chakra system. Ugh! Let me move these over. This one I'm not, not big on either. This one here, if you want to get out of debt, I recommend this, Debt Free and Prosperous Living. Let me see if I can fix this video. Are we back? Are we still cl clicking on this video? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I didn't screw up the video. Hey, I'm not perfect. <clears throat> How about this one? The Money Magnet, creating unlimited wealth by using the universal law of attraction. See, it's all about personal development, people. Creative visualization. And this one was probably the book, the manual that set me on the road to learning about the law of attraction. Yeah, the law of attraction. Have you ever heard someone say you think about, you, uh, whatever you think about comes about? Yeah, your thoughts can manifest in your life here in the physical three-dimensional, three-dimensional, three-dimensional world. Can I even talk this morning? By Teriana Robinson. This is a good one to get you on the path to learning about law of attraction. And how about this one, boys and girls? The Seven Laws of Money by Michael Phillip Phillips. This one here. You may have heard of this one. The Richest Man in Babylon by Ch George S. Klassen. Klassen. I don't even know. However you pronounce that name, it don't matter. It's what's inside the book that matters. It's the knowledge inside the book that matters. And it matters if you apply the knowledge because knowledge applied is power. Not just mental assessment. Take what you hear, read, and take knowledge and apply it. Don't just let it sit dormant, okay? And last but not least, the one I think that's the best, most effective book to live by in life is this one, the Holy Bible. Now, I'm not going to preach a sermon to you, but this book can change your life for this life you're living in and the one for eternity when you die, okay? So that's my two cents, love it or shove it, on personal development. Okay. <sighs> what other topic can I talk about <clears throat> that I feel, that I feel will help you learn to, how to be successful working from home? Well, you need good personal development skills. Write this stuff, write this stuff down. You need good communication skills. If you don't know how to com communicate with people, hang it up. <laughs> working, from working from home may not be for you because working from home is all about numbers and all about people. So if you're not a people person, reconsider. Reconsider, reconsider working from home. You might want to stay on your job in corporate America. You might need it for a long time, brother, sister. So personal development is key. Thoughts are everything. Whatever you think about can come about in your life. You need to write down your goals. What is your goal? Do you even know what your goal is? Well, Mike, I just want to make a ton of money. Oh, really? You think that's going to happen without providing value to someone else and solving their problems instead of being greedy about what's in it just for you? Yeah, I went there. Folks, you got to give before you can receive. You really think you're going to receive 
before you're giving something of value to other people? A lot of people, they got the cart before the horse. They want to receive without giving. You know, people that are homeless and broke on the street. Why do you think they're broke and homeless on the street? Think about it. You got to give something of value to someone else instead of being a beggar and constantly thinking, eh, life is a free handout. Who can I get some quarters or dollars from by holding a sign on the street corner and begging? You really think you're going somewhere fast? Being a beggar? Nothing against those that are in poverty state. But realize, if you're homeless, listen, I slept in a homeless shelter. If you're holding signs out to, you know, collect money to feed your kids, I understand that. If you're collecting money, you know, out in an inter intersection where, where there's a lot of traffic and f at a Walmart store, outside Walmart, I understand if you're out begging to put food in your gut or to provide food for your family or, you know, to buy a blanket, to have money to buy a blanket because it's cold where you're staying in your cardboard box. I understand that. But if you're staying in that place and you're not progressing when you know you can go across the street to McDonald's and fill out an application, you got it wrong. You got it wrong. You need to work. Okay? Nowhere in the good book does it say be lazy. Be lazy and, and, and you know, be lazy and expect a handout on life. Don't work like that. I'm sorry. You've missed the boat. You need to check up from the neck up on your thoughts. And whatever is manifesting in your life you don't like that you want changed, change your thoughts and you can change your life. How about that? So listen, let me move on because I'm at 22 minutes on this video. So you also don't want to be lazy. You want to be confident that you can do it. Yes, you can do it. Mike, I can't do what you do. I can't turn on my camera or my camcorder or my uh, 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 laptop or my, you know, video camera on my cell phone and, and just go like you and blow my mouth because that's not me. Hey, I understand. But can you place ads on Facebook that direct people to a website? Listen, I don't chase people. I don't call, text, or email people unless... They reach out to me and request a call back. So here's another rule if you want to, here's another tidbit if you want to learn how to be successful working from home. Be the hunted, not the hunter. I don't hunter chase people down. Why be a hunter when you can let people hunt you down? Isn't it either to, easier to connect, with, to connect with people that want what, want what you have and want? I'm sorry, let me say this the right way. Isn't it easier to connect with a handful of people that are looking for what you offer instead of chasing people that are a bunch of tire kickers that waste your time? I know all about that. And will never pull out their pocket and do business with you in the first place. So why would you want to chase them? Why would you want to deal with them? No offense against the tire kickers if that's you. But tire kickers kick the tires. They pull into a car dealership. <coughs> the car salesman comes out. Hey, how are we doing today? How can I assist you? Eh, I'm just checking out this vehicle. Oh yeah, you want to take it for a test drive? Yeah, let me take it for a test drive. They take the vehicle out for the test drive. Waste the time of the salesman because they come back pull into the car dealership, get out of the car they just drove, and they love the car, and they know that in the back of their head, but they have no intention of pulling out their wallet and doing business. And the car salesman says, hey, how'd you like the car? How'd you like the truck? How'd you like the vehicle? Oh, I love it. Great. Wonderful. Can we come back into my office and talk a little bit about it and see how we can help you? Nah, I just wanted to test drive the car and see it because it makes me feel good that I can have this pipe dream that someday I'm going to get this vehicle, but I don't have the money to get it. And the salesman in the back of his mind saying, probably saying to himself, 
Thanks for wasting my time, you tire kicker. And the salesman turns around and walks into the car dealership or starts looking for the next victim of circumstance to pull into the car dealership. And that tire kicker just wasted that salesman's time, probably about 45 minutes, probably about 20 minutes or so, um, because they took the vehicle out to test drive it, came back and said, nah, I'm not interested. I don't waste my time with those type of people. They can chase me. <laughs> now, yes, don't get me wrong here. Some people probably think I'm a mean, a, a mean, what's the word I want to say? Obnoxious person? Don't take me the wrong way. Yes, I'll answer your questions. When you email me, I recommend you email me before calling or texting me. Because if you guys only knew the amount of people that were calling or texting me, <laughs> or Facebook messaging me, or mess messaging me on YouTube, maybe you would understand why ha I have not emailed you, called or texted you back. Okay, you got to realize where I'm at. And you got to realize where people are at that are successful on YouTube, or video marketing, or successful online, is people follow them and they watch them and they see if, hey, can this person really provide a solution for my money problems or help me with my issues in life? So those type of people become valuable and it may take you some time for that type of person to get back with you because they're busy. They're busy with people answering their questions that have reached out to them. They're busy with their families. They're busy with their full-time job if they're pushing something on the side and doing a side hustle. So guys, please be patient. If you think you're gonna come into this work at home game and learn how to be successful working from home overnight, think again. I didn't get to where I'm at overnight. I've been cutting videos since 2000, maybe 13. If I remember, I actually had a YouTube channel that was deleted, maybe taken down back in 2013 or 14. So if you're still on this video, we're almost at 28 minutes. You're almost ready to click off because Mike's just talking, talking, talking. Well, yeah, I'm talking because I'm trying to give you guys some valuable information and keys today to help you learn how to be successful working from home. So personal development is key. Read books, read them on your iPad, read them on your cell phone. Hey, you still make paperback books? Just go to Barnes and Noble or Amazon and order some right? Shoot, I'd much rather read a book than fill my head with a bunch of junk on TV. Come on, somebody. But yet, most people would rather sit down for an hour, hour and a half, watch a movie, you know, sit back in their easy chair and, uh, let me just watch this movie. I'm so stressed out from my job today. Gosh, just let me watch a video or a movie and just relax. Leave me alone. Make the world go away. Oh, gosh, the kids are yelling and screaming. I got to deal with them. Let me get up and deal with the kids. People are tired. People are stressed out. <laughs> People just want to be lazy and relax and take a break from life because of the stresses of life. And they wonder why they can't make their home-based business work because they don't want to work it, because they're so stressed out after working 8, 10, 12 hours a day on their job. And then they come home and work another job with their kids, their family, their spouse. It's 9, 10 at night. Gosh, I didn't even work on my home-based business today because or put in time to place ads or talk to people because I'm so stressed out that I don't even want to work a home-based business. Is this work-at-home stuff for me? You see what I'm saying? So you got to be willing to take a, maybe, guys, a half hour, an hour a day to do some work. If you're not willing to work your business, how can it work for you? Think about this. You may be in a home-based business. You may, be, may have partnered with me. But realize there's two sides to every business. Paying money to get in a home-based business and then marketing and advertising a business. Let me ask you a question. Those that have partnered with me and whatever you partnered with, that you spent money on, whether it's my programs or someone else's, what are you doing to promote your business, to market and advertise it? Well, Mike, I've, I've had you send out 500 postcards for me. What's wrong? Nothing. The 500 people that got your postcard that went out on your behalf, maybe they're not ready to join yet. 
Nothing's wrong other than the fact that you marketed one time instead of marketed on a consistent basis to put out postcards Monday through Saturday when the mail goes. Hey, put 20 postcards in the mail per day when the mail goes. Hey, why don't you cut a YouTube video once in a while? Hey, why don't you post on Facebook? You know, in some Facebook groups, if you're strapped for money in free Facebook groups, or post on your wall, or do something, because if you do nothing, you get nothing back. No wonder, guys, you guys have, some of you people probably have shiny object syndrome, where you jump on the newest, hottest thing, thinking this could be the one, but don't you realize it don't matter if you join the newest shiny object coming down the pike, that business ain't going to make you money. Hello, somebody on a consistent basis long-term, unless you market and advertise on a consistent basis long-term. So if you think you can come into this work at home game and be successful just marketing once and then just, yeah, I'll try it. Yeah, I'll try it. Don't try it. You've spent money on it. Commit to make it work. Folks, listen to me. When I started my first direct mail marketing, postcard marketing business, you really think I made a ton of money my first two, three, four months? I started it. Let me give you a quick testimony. I could have quit after my first 30, 60 days. Saying to myself, eh, I haven't made no money or I've barely made no money at all to cover my postage. I could have quit and stayed on my job in corporate America working in a factory. But you think I'd be here cutting this video today if I quit after 30, 60, 90 days? I probably didn't make a whole much lot my first 30, 60, 90 days. But after month four or five, things started popping. I started making money. Folks started coming into my business. And after about five months of starting that first postcard marketing home-based business opportunity, I walked off my job. It's like, why am I working for a job when I can make twice as much working for myself? I'm done. I'm out. And I brought my wife home. You know, and uh, huh. now we don't have to work at JLB, but I didn't quit. See, so you got to be consistent and you got to be in this for the long term, even when you don't see the money coming. So I've covered a few things today. <sighs> be confident in yourself. Personal development is key. Stick in there for the long term. Folks, true winners never quit and quitters never win. How can they? Maybe if they inherit the lottery, inherit money or win the lottery or something. But the majority of the population it don't work like that. And no, life is not a handout. I'm going to get off this video. I hope you've got some free, valuable content. Knowledge is everything if it's applied. So educate yourself. Find your gift, talent, and ability. Maybe it's cooking. Maybe it's writing books. Maybe it's being a taxi cab driver. Maybe it's being a teacher at school, an EMT, saving people's lives. Maybe it's being a doctor or surgeon. But if you want to learn how to, um, if you want to learn how to be successful working from home, subscribe to my channel. Boom! Down below, hit the red subscribe tab. Also, hit the bell to get on notifications of new videos about working from home, high ticket business opportunities, postcard marketing, blabbing your mouth for money. <laughs> That's what I do. But everybody has their gift. Use your gift for what is good and positive to and uplift and motivate people and encourage them instead of drag them down. Provide value for masses of people to solve their problems. And you can have whatever you want in life. Folks, whenever you learn to give to people whatever they want in life, you can have everything you want in life if you help enough people get what they want in life. Think about it. Think about the golden rule. Do unto others as you would desire them to do unto you. And that, my friend, will, will preach. Okay? So, Mike here. Hope you've liked this video on how to be successful working from home. I hope to see you on the next video and hopefully on the road to success. Peace, God bless here. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video on a fantastic Friday. See you on the next video, whether you're on YouTube, whether you're on, you're on Facebook, whether you're on Twitter. Maybe you found this video somewhere else. I don't know. But I hope to each uh, work with each and every one of you and provide free, valuable content. Thank you for tuning in. See you on the next video. 
Peace, God bless, I'm out. Have a wonderful weekend, and bye for now.